What is going on, everybody? We're back in another plan some more Madden 24 online head to head. Today, we are back, and today we have a topic to discuss. We're back on online head to head. We're here to discuss a topic that I really needed to get to talk to. Holy fuck. A topic that I really needed to talk about because it's actually crazy. So, uh, yeah, my record going into this is 38 and 54. Now let's get into it. So, the team that we are going to be talking about today is this team right here, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let's get into it. The Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know really talk about coordinators. But the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh my god, I'm not facing a Ravens user. Not facing a Ravens user. I'm not facing a Chiefs user. Like, pick a different team, guys. Like, what are we doing? Okay, finally. A Cardinals user. I'll play them. A rematch of the Super Bowl. Cardinals Steelers when the Steelers won their Super Bowl. Anyway, I don't normally talk about coordinators because there's too many coordinators to talk about if I were to make a video on every coordinator and where they would sign and shit. EA but the Steelers. The, NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. the Steelers have done something that I don't I don't understand. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, as you may have known this year, had offensive coordinator Matt Canada who is one of the worst offensive play callers you could ever fucking have on your team because he was back... Oh my god, what am I saying? The Steelers are the type of team that doesn't like to hire and fire that many guys. They like to keep the same like group intact, which is honestly one of their downfalls. So as I was saying, they've had Matt Canada, which is one of the worst offensive minds that I've ever seen since I've since I've that was a Matt Canada play call right there um since I've been a fan of football I've studied the offensive side of the ball and Matt Canada is one of the worst I've ever seen they were calling for his head at Penguins games get that Oh, Pickens they were calling for his head at that uh, thing at Steelers games. No, not Steelers games. Dang, you're so Is it at Penguins games? They just. Everybody in Pittsburgh hated Matt Canada. So, what did the Steelers do? They finally made the right decision. I tried juking. Punt the ball. Alright, I just pumped the ball. So the Steelers, they fired Matt Canada this season, halfway through the season. Oh. And Mike Tomlin was calling the offensive play calls. That seemed to be working out for them. I mean, they, they got into the playoffs. They got bitched by the fucking Bills in the wild card round. Cover six. But, you know, there was, there was a bit of hope in uh, Pittsburgh that they would hopefully find a leader for their offense to help develop Kenny Pickett and that rest of their offense, George Pickens, Najee Harris, all that. And who did the fucking Steelers sign to be their new offensive coordinator? Get, get ready for this one, cover nine. They've hired former Atlanta Falcons head coach Arthur Smith a guy who's known to be terrible, terrible at his fucking offensive schemes. Card Falcons fans hated the fucking guy. Cover six. He was a terrible offensive play caller. Look at the Atlanta Falcons roster. Look at all the young weapons they got on that team. Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. 
And who the fuck does uh, Arthur Smith decide to uh, set his offense through? Cordero Patterson and Jonu Smith. Fourth and five, nice. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, who is hiring the coordinators for Steelers? Is it Mike Tomlin? Because if it's Mike Tomlin, then he... Cover six, he's going for... He needs honestly to be fired. Like, I'm sorry, but like, you can't be making this many terrible decisions for your staff. If it's if it's on Tomlin, if it's on the GM, they, 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 someone needs to get fired in Pittsburgh. They cannot keep doing this. Nice, Minka Fitzpatrick. Like the whole offense is supposed to get better, and that's not going to do that when probably Pittsburgh's offense next year is going to run through probably Jalen Warren and uh, Jason Hayward probably. The backup tight end. RPO. I would have said Allen Robinson, but I don't think I think they're gonna cut him because he played terrible this year. That's just what I wanted to talk about. Nice Allen Robinson. That's what I wanted to talk about because I just wanted to let you guys know how fucking like the sheer stupidity. Like I'm actually like, genuinely like passionate about this topic. Like how could you mess this up? How can you mess that up? You could have hired anybody else, PA Cross, other than Arthur Smith. And you guys hire Arthur Smith. He's, like, if not the same, maybe a little worse than Matt Canada because he was a head coach. And he fucked and royally fucked that. Oh my god, I threw the ball. But okay. He royally fucked that franchise. Oh my god. And I guarantee you, halfway through next year, Steelers fans are going to be calling for Arthur Smith's fucking head because he's that terrible i'm call i'm telling you right now i guarantee you right now what the fuck are you <laughs> fucking doing man where are you throwing the ball kenny pickett you fucking idiot pittsburgh like oh my god really catching a bit from their coaching staff about cover three cloud turnovers that we've seen early i think both teams are trying to find an advantage we know that can one of them break away and take control of this game wow oh fish it even with the first down lane there took advantage of it give him seven there on the first down carry but you often say that sort cover two man linebacker blitz second and short what do you think early shot here Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Pick that. No! That could have been a pick. Cover six. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Nice hit. Cover two men linebacker blitz. That's the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Y'all could have hired anybody else. Cover nine, show two. Murray now on first down. No way he caught that, bro. No way. Cover two, man. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 48 yard line. Murray giving to Connor. Nice hit. Overload blitz. No fucking way, Joey Porter. Cover three sky. To throw is Murray. 
What are you doing, guys? Overload blitz. Tampa two. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. It'll be wow. on the keeper. Good hit. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite. Overload. In. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Connor. Nice. To go for Connor. Good shit, boys. No gain on the play. And what you go for it. I dare you. Goal. Cover three buzz. Nice! Let's go! Let's go! What a stop! Let's fucking go, baby! I'm flipping it. Oh, Najee. Oh, Najee. Nice. Two minute warning. Let's go. Let me fucking coordinate the Steelers, bruh. Levels Y corner. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Run inside zone. Nice. Good shit, Jalen Warren. Scat. Nice. Allen Robinson. Red zone up. 23 yards, the final tally. Hit Friar Muth, maybe. Get that. Oh my god! Deontay Johnson! Deontay Johnson from 17 yards out. Look at that. What a play. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to What a have. toe tap. A great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. Boom. 7 nothing. And he'll put it through to make it 7 nothing Steelers. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Greg Dorch returning. Now a wow. He's past the 30. Wow. Okay. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shy of midfield. A great return. Number six. We're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. On first and ten, here's Murray. Nice. And just not enough on the throw there. Got around his feet and incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. Let's go, boys. Cover through cloud. On every snap, another nice job there to force an incompletion. DJ. Omaha, Omaha. On second down, here's Murray. Nope. And that is incomplete. Well, the conclusions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense. Cover two men spy. So Let's see if they can get something going here on third down.
There's Murray. Wow. All right. Number nine. Seconds to go in the first half. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Cover nine, show two. Second down and a little more than a yard here. From the gun, Murray. Pick that. Or don't, or don't. Like, fuck was that, guys? Cover on hold. All right. The cards are on the board block in the final minute of the first half. Prater for the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get it back, guys. Oh, whoa. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take. Oh. Bring the football out to the 25. Inside zone. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys Inside in this situation post. if they decide to take a shot. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They'll keep it on the ground again here. Powers through. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The Steelers signal for the second PA of their crossers. timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They run the play fake. Here's Pickett. He'll buy some time right. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. play of the first half. Here's Pickett. And I can't even get the ball off. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end. All right, half time at 7-7. Seven, seven. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. He, we get ball, right? And we no, you okay, I guess now. not. Alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. <laughs> set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Cover to him. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what okay. the second half brings us. Certainly, yeah, I'm with you on that one, and we Can't all know coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. All right. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, we all three know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Nice hit. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to put him in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage. The run to the left side. Wow. Down, it's Connor. Nice. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him in the Yep, go for it. Overload blitz. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Swim. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's got I said overload blitz. What the fuck are you guys doing? To the 47. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time. Cover six. As they keep the drive moving. So a bold call, but this drive will forge on. First and ten after the fourth down conversion. Murray now to throw. Nope. His throw incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, trying Cover to get nine, two two. stops and escape this drive. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Murray now running left off the option. Nice hand. Probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down. Overload blitz. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. Nice. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Joey Porter oh. Jr. And the Steelers are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard line. Joey All Porter. Defensive coaches, they sure like yes, sir. They got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick nice. early, and he shows why. He should not Love this guy. Inside post. Rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. So first and ten now from the 30. Learn it again, bro. Now run straight ahead and run. Cash at three there. Man. To get a and Counter Y. Now second and eight at the 32 yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And what are you guys doing? PA go slot cross. Punt the goddamn fucking football. Like, what are you doing? The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Cover two men. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Nice head. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Cover two men. Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already nice. in this game and trying to change things up. That's we'll the end of the third quarter. The Mr. Davis. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Fourth quarter, baby.
Third and six, cover nine, show two. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. Now Murray. Okay, bruh. Okay, bruh. Just, like, don't do, like... Who was that? Who was that? Tell me who that fucking was right now. That was bullshit. Who was that? That fucking guy right there, 97. Is that fucking Jason? Or I don't even know. A Landon Roberts, maybe. I don't know. Somebody. Just fucking Dover in the middle. Get him down. Cover three cloud. Nice linebacker play. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Gotta be fucking kidding me right now. Cover nine, show two. Nice. a yard there and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole Cover six. package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. <laughs> They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually Cover two men. as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Nope. You take your three, you're gonna go for it. We have to be able to convert, and I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity makes you're gonna go for it. One whole press. I believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Murray and company going for it on fourth. Nope, let's go. Let's go. Counter Y. Let's go. Come on, man. Levels Y corner. That's the two minute warning. The fuck are you guys doing? HB slip screen. Come up now. This is second and long. Pick it a look to throw it here. Nice. Setting up the screen, Harris. Nice. Good shit, Naji. Tight end wheel. You can understand their willingness to try and get up field to get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them. Go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Pickett's throw pulled in by Robinson. Nice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. HP power row. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the wide zone. They'll come up now on second down. They'll try the right side with Harris. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As they stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Here we go. First and goal. On the give, this is Harris. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four. Take the one more. Four. Now the Steelers use the second Wide of zone. three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Harris. 
Pass down. Najee Harris. This is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the I was going to try and do something funny, but I'll take that. Boom. 14 7. 16 seconds left. And that makes the score 14 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Let's go, baby. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Cover two men. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Murray. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five yard oh, nice. line. It's a sack. They've got to burn the time. Cover two men linebacker two, blitz. A costly, costly sack. And now maybe just time for one final play. Now Murray. He's going to win. Give me that. Trying to take a shot, but it's nickel down. blitz three. Green, green, green. Hey. One more, one more, one more. Murray, one final try. Nice. Incomplete. So their final drive comes up in. Let's go. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so back. Let's fucking go. What a game. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play. And neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen what a game before. by go me, the Steelers defense. What a game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and until my next video, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.